And to bring back life to the wood industry in the country after the moratorium on logging four years ago, the Kenya Forest Service is in the process of setting up systems that will read the felling of trees of wanton corruption. And as Jacob, John Jacob Curia reports on the final part of our two-part series, The Pain of Nobility of Our Feature, KFS, however, has the task of eliminating rogue elements from within their ranks who have been colluding with unscrupulous sawmillers rather, to deny government revenue from the trees in government forests. Chief Conservator of Forests Julius Kamau now says procurement for the 5,000 hectares of mature trees allowed in the partial lift of the moratorium has begun and the industry could stabilize soon. The disposal process for the 5,000 has already started. In any case, already we went to the public notice. We invited bidders, uh, no, not bidders, but people who have interest to do business with the Kenya Forest Service with regards to roundwood, uh, poles, uh, firewood and other forest products. And they, we gave them about 30 days to register on that platform, and most of them have registered. And uh, of course, a uh, section of the forest industry went to court to object the registration. Um, but hopefully that matter uh, was put on rest tomorrow, uh, yesterday, basically. And therefore, we are happy to, to engage. According to Kamau, most sawmillers have failed to supplement government efforts at conservation, which would bridge the wood deficit in the country, which stands at 10 million cubic meters today. We should not be perceived as if we are working in a different uh, direction. In any case, in any case, the commercial forest plantations are developed and their working cycles are set to, to support the industry. Remember, we have the big four agenda, the housing and manufacturing. So we appreciate that. And that's why we are trying to create a good foundation that when we start doing business with them, it is sustainable. For them, they feel safe. They can even go for, for loan, knowing that I can still be able to access the material tomorrow. That's a plus. Timber industry does not implement a policy. We don't have that mandate. The person who implements the mandate on behalf, uh, who implements the policy on behalf of Kenyans is the Kenya Forest Service, because it is the body which, have, which was uh, established by an act of parliament. The Kenya Forest Service in the meantime is installing systems intended to read the tree harvesting exercise of any corruption. Kenya Forest Service has developed what we are calling an e-registration platform because we want to go digital. We want to use platforms which do not necessarily have to have a high interaction of a human, our human resource. And uh, that is something that we have done. It too, actually, it was done by entire internal capacity by the Kenya Forest Service. And therefore, today we have an e-registration platform on our website that is basically to register all the forest industry players within the industry. But seeing the trees are a renewable resource and the number of mature trees continues to rise, what is KFS doing to trigger success stories from the tree harvesting in coming years? We had a backlog of about 30,000 hectares of the plantations that were cut, felled, but not replanted. And therefore, one of the things that we have been able to do, it is to, uh, to synergize our resources, um, working together with the projects that we have, to be able to replant and restock these areas. And so far, we have been able to move from the 30,000 hectares backlog to now 14,000. And we continue. And we believe in the next one financial year, we should be able to clear off the backlog. Meaning, we should be able to harvest and at the same time, immediately plant for sustainability. Both for the predictable revenue for the government, but also for the forest industry. After government imposed a ban on logging four years ago, and even after the lifting of that ban, albeit partially, there's no respite for sawmillers in the country. Much of what we've seen is back and forth between government and sawmillers. But one thing is clear. Now the government needs to escalate the conservation measures because nobody can underestimate the importance of a beautiful ecosystem. But secondly, the government also needs to find a sustainable solution to keep so millers in business. John Jacob Curia, Channel One.